Today's video, you should have your notes on surface area of pyramids. You can find this in the sixth grade math and focus book, chapter 12, um, section two. This is day three, uh, a couple pages into chapter 12, section two. Also have your notes with you. So pyramids, we've talked about them. We've made them out of nets. We made the square base. If you made the green one in class, so you've seen the pyramid. Pyramids, the majority of the faces are triangles. So you have to really look at what is the base and what height is the triangle, because a triangle's area, area equals one half base times height. So you have to look at the height of the triangles when you're trying to find the surface area of a pyramid. So this example here, we have purple faces and a red base. This is a square pyramid because it's 10 by 10 on the bottom there. So I know it's a square based pyramid. And you can see the formula um, or the work is done. The formula is not shown. So the area of the square, that would be area equals side squared or base times height if you wanna do base times height if that's your version. Um, and the area of the four triangles, four triangles, one half base times height. So you can see the one half, the base is 10, the height is 12, so they're plugging that in there to find the area of the four triangles. So the area of the square, 100 inches squared, the four triangles, 240 inches squared. So the overall area of this purple and red square-based pyramid is 340 inches squared. The next example here, Alicia makes a pyramid that has an equilateral triangle as its base. So all sides of the base are the same. The other three faces are congruent, which means equal in measure. Isosceles, two sides the same, um, triangles. So congruent, meaning all three of the triangles have the same measurement, which are isosceles, two sides are the, are the same. At least two sides being the same makes it an isosceles triangle. She measures the lengths um, shown on the net of her pyramid. So you can see this triangular pyramid is made into a net here in the picture to the right. Find the surface area of the pyramid. So the area of the yellow base um, is 1 half base times height. So the base there is 6. The height of this little yellow triangle here is the 5 and 2 tenths inches. So half of 6 times 5 and 2 tenths gives me, um, when I multiply that together, half of 6 is 3. 3 times 5 and 2 tenths is 15 and 6 tenths inches squared. So that's the yellow part. The area of the three blue triangles, because they are congruent, they are all the same, 3 times 1 half, the base on those, as you can see, the base on those here, this side of the equilateral base of the triangle is six. And the height of those congruent isosceles triangles is 10. So there's your height of 10. So the base is six, the height is 10. Three times six is 18. Half of that is nine. Nine times 10 is 90. And again, Multiplication is commutative, so I could have done half of 10, which is 5. 5 times 6 is 30, times 3 is 90, or pick a calculator, 3 times 1 half times 6 times 10, you're still going to get the 90. So the three congruent parts have an area of 90 inches squared, and the base has an area of 15 and 6 tenths. So if you add all of those together, you're going to get 105 and 6 tenths inches squared. So we're just looking at the faces and adding up the area of all the faces. Find the surface area of the pyramid. Well, you've got to decide what kind of pyramid is it. So number one, I see that I have nine, nine, and nine. That's my base. My base triangular pyramid here, the base of this triangular pyramid is an equilateral triangle. However, 
This is not a tetrahedron. These are not all four congruent triangles like the tetrahedron that we made in class. Because I know that because this height of this face of this triangular pyramid, the one I just drew in purple here, this height is only, this height right here is only seven and eight tenths centimeters, which is not as long as the height of the three congruent wings, as you might think, these ones that come up and fold up to the apex here. Um, their heights are, this height is 11 and 3 tenths centimeters. So the base triangle is smaller than the three face triangles. But they are the same. Those three face triangles are the same because they all have a base of 9. 9 here, 9 here, 9 here, with a height of 11 and 3 tenths. So if I find the, find the area, I find the area of the base purple triangle and then three times the area of the congruent face triangles. So altogether four triangles make up a triangular pyramid. So the so you gotta look at your numbers carefully. The base triangle, one half that base of nine and height of seven and eight tenths plus three times that one half times the base uh, again of nine, but the height, however, on, this, on the triangles that are the faces that come to make the apex at the top, their heights are all 11 and 3 tenths centimeters. So um, finding that area, when I multiply 1 half times 9 times 7 and 8 tenths, I'm getting 35 and 1 tenth for my base, and my faces, my three faces, ends up multiplying out to that product is 152 and 55 hundredths. So then when you add that together, and did I have to show this, this little step here? No, this computation step. I could have just added 35 and 1 tenth plus the 152 and 55 hundredths to get the final answer of 187 and 65 hundredths centimeters squared. So I have formula, first step, I'm plugging in or replacing the values, second step, third step, getting an answer with a label on it. Formula, plug in, answer, label. And yes, it is centimeter squared. Number two, and uh, here I have the both the solid rectangular uh, pyramid shown and the net of that rectangular pyramid. So I know that the rectangle is 33 long by 14 wide, and the 14 is the base of these two, because a rectangle has two pairs of congruent sides. So I have two triangles that are very skinny here, small base, 14, but 24 is their height. You can see it up here. This is the height of all the triangles. And then I have two, a pair of triangles that have 33 as the base with a height, I can put it right here, of 24. So I've got a rectangle, two triangles that have a 14 inch base, and two triangles that have a 33, 33 oh, unit space. I don't even know that that's inches. So my formula, area is. So it's a rectangle plus two smaller triangles plus two other larger based triangles. So I'm going to put all those together. What shapes do I see? Rectangle, base times height, or length times width, whatever you call it. Plus two. Not, notice it's not four times something because they are not all four the same. We were all four the same in our square based. These are all exactly 10 based, 10 base, 10 inches base. Their bases are all the same, their heights are all the same. So you could use this four times one half base times height because it's a square based pyramid. However, in this example, not a square based pyramid 
it's a rectangle-based pyramid. So 2 times 1 half base times height, the smaller base, plus 2 times 1 half base times height, the larger base. So break your shape apart into all the um, planes that you see here, all the figures that you see. So the rectangle is, again, 33 by 14. The small base triangle is 2 times 1 half times 14, and their heights are all 24, plus 2 times 1 half. The larger base triangles are 33 by 24. So multiplying that, those products, I get 462 for my rectangle. The smaller base triangles are 336 square units, and my larger base triangles are 792 square units. So when I add all that together, I get 1,590 units squared. Or you could just say units squared that way, u squared. So because it doesn't say feet, yards, inches, or miles, you do have to give it a label. So my formula looks different. So far I've seen three different formulas here. I've seen the square-based pyramid square plus four of the same triangle, an equilateral based triangular pyramid, and now a rectangular pyramid. Next page. Number three, this square based pyramid. I would like you to do this problem on your own. I know it's a square because it, first of all it has the four uh, 90 degree corners, four inches by four inches, this must be four inches and this must be four inches. So I have a square pyramid here. I would like you to do this on your own. So pause the video, take a moment, fill this in. And in class on Monday, I'm going to look to see that you've done this problem on your own. So I know that it's a square plus, I bet you all guessed, four triangles that are all the same. One half, four times one half times base times height. Why are they all the same? Because their bases are all four and their heights are all six and three tenths. This is exactly like the very first example with the purple um, faces and the red base. So follow that example and do that one on your own. The challenge question. Yes, we're going to do the challenge question. Um, I'm going to do it with you. So you can see that it's a hexagonal pyramid. This is a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sides here, six um, sides on the base of this um, pyramid, which makes it a hexagonal. So the base is hexagonal. Now a hexagon, as I've shown you in class, can be split into two trapezoids. But it's showing me a center point here, so it's really showing you that it's six equilateral triangles. Six equilateral triangles. So here's the one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them, six. I'm getting some lines in there. Let's do that. Okay. Six equilateral triangles. It doesn't look equilateral because of the way that it's sitting. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six equilateral triangles on that base. I'm going to erase that because I don't want to have too many lines on there. But there are six of them. So to find the area of that, and it looks like the sunshine. I've shown you this one in my classroom. It's the yellow net that opens up and it kind of looks like a sunshine. There are six triangles that are the faces and six triangles that make up the face. So we're finding the area of 12 triangles here. And yes, um, the it's a regular hexagon. All the sides are the same. How do I know that? Tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, 
tick mark. So all of these bases are six, all the way around. So the base of every face triangle is six. The height is this 12 and 2 tenths inches. The base of every base triangle is also six. And the height is 5 and 2 tenths inches. Ooh, great problem. So the six triangles in the base, six times 1 half times base times height plus six triangles that are the faces, the ones that come up to the apex and make the point. So i got to find 12 triangles. Six times 1 half. The base of the base triangle is six. And the height is right here. It's pointing to this little height inside here. If I was to draw that triangle here, here's the height inside there. The base here is 6. This height, which it's pointing to, is 5 and 2 tenths. So 6 times 5 and 2 tenths plus 6. Now the faces that come up to the apex point fold up and make the point there. They look like the sun rays on the yellow one in class. Their base is 6 as well, but their height is 12 and 2 tenths. Those squiggles on there. So you get 93 and 6 tenths for the base and the 6 tall, thin triangles that come up to the apex, 219 and 6 tenths square inches. And altogether, this hexagonal pyramid 313 and 2 tenths inches squared.